today in session three, we are going to talk about, well, it's not going to be a long session today, but I think it's going to be an important one. So let's go ahead and open up the MeWe app. And we're going to go straight to our feed. I just want to remind you that if you are not happy with what you see on your feed, you have the ability to just to adjust it between contacts, all groups and pages. And you do that just by clicking the gray bar uh, underneath of add story there towards the top of the screen. So today we're going to talk about the search feature. Now the search feature is pretty intuitive. It is the magnifying glass icon in the upper right corner. But at the same time, it is quite a bit uh, more robust than other social media platforms. Because once you type in a search word or phrase, you're not going to be given just the results that are popular or that someone wants you to see or an algorithm suggests you need to see. You're going to get anything that produces that word. So let's just go straight to it. Let's click on the magnifying glass icon. That's going to bring us to the search. It's going to say search MeWe. We're just going to type in a word, something we want to search. I personally uh, enjoy cabins and the cabin lifestyle, so I'm just going to type in cabin and see what happens. Now, mind you, uh, you need to um, you need to give it just a second to filter through everything. You do not have to press uh, enter or anything like that after you type the word. It's going to begin to show you results when it gets to a word it recognizes. So you'll see right now that uh, just having typed in the word cabin, I am first delivered members, then I have pages, I have groups, I have chats, I have posts. I mean, it's pretty much anything that has mentioned the word cabins. What's interesting about this is the lots of this information that comes up from the search has nothing to do with my personal contacts or groups that I belong to or pages that I follow. They are just results for the search term cabin. So you can see also that uh, it highlights the word in blue, the word that you're searching for. It highlights it in blue so that you can see where that word was found and why that relationship was made. Now, obviously, uh, in searching members, it's not just three members that have cabin somewhere. Uh, so you can click on view all, which is in the upper right corner. Click on view all and it's going to show you literally every contact that somehow has the letter C-A-B-I-N in that order in their name. Quite a few. Now, if you want to go back to your search results, you're just going to click that uh, little left arrow. Some people may call it alligator jaws, something of that nature, and it's going to take you back and you're going to see your pages and your groups. So maybe I want to see what groups I could belong to if I want to talk about uh, cabins or cabin building. Uh, so I'm just going to click on groups, uh, see all, and I'm going to see just every result I could actually want to be. I can apply to join the group or I can join the group. Uh, it's just really robust. So without belaboring the point, that's what we wanted to do for session three was just introduce you to that search feature because it is very robust um, and it does present some really cool results which are going to help you really expand your uh, network in MeWe and become more familiar with how MeWe works and voices that you may want to hear or conversations you may want to be a part of. So I want to thank you again for joining me, session three on MeWe, using the uh, MeWe app for smartphone.